Ladies and gentlemen, I am Star-Lord New Thor 7, your Planetary Defense Commander, and I am on the night shift here, September 10th, bringing up-to-date information to anyone in Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, Virginia, or along the East Coast who is looking for data to make their decisions on how they shall prepare and possibly evacuate this situation. And we now have Hurricane Florence showing up on the NAM which is good, it gives us one more decent tool to work with. Although technically we have way too many tools, we better just have one good one that works. Instead of 10, we gotta guess which one is correct. So we're looking at, this is the GFS, this is, this is the Euro, and this is the NAM, where the NAM stops at, the NAM stops at 6 a.m. on 12. So this is as far as we get it right now. But as you can see, most of them are in total agreement on it being a super heavy rainmaker. I think the GFS is usually the thickest when it comes to rain. And then now let's switch over to wind. We can go wind gusts. At this point, about 97. But there's 100 in here somewhere. 100 mile per hour winds. And the, the Euro is usually the one that's up on wind. And so take worst case scenarios you get like 130 20 to 50 inches of rain and then uh yeah we're looking at about 100 mile per hour winds so that's as far as the nam takes us now the new euro is in and the bad news is is that it is south and so that's the whole thing about because our government spent 21 trillion dollars over the last 20 years and none of it on weather upgrades. Technically, we haven't really upgraded any of our technology since the space shuttle got shit can, but that's neither here nor there. Saying your government is not your friend. At last hurricane season, I said it's best to pretend like your government doesn't even exist. And that's what we're going with this year. So if you're one of those people who's like, oh my God, I love the government. Well, then Thor News isn't really the place for you. It doesn't matter which politician is in office. I don't trust government at all. I think they are puppets for corporations and will do whatever corporations pay them to do. Also, I woke up in a bad mood. You should know that right now. But and remember, I've been covering this for like two weeks, so you can down thumbs me, but I'm the guy who two weeks ago told you this is a major potential threat to the East Coast. So you can cut off your nose to spite your face if you'd like. Might even make you more attractive. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be a jerk. There's never any reason to insult anybody, and I never like it when anyone insults anybody's looks. Because we're all ugly to somebody and beautiful to somebody out there. So yeah, it has it hitting now in the South Carolina and North Carolina border. That's why I keep saying, I said if there are going to be some surprises, they will come tonight, between tonight and the morning, and then tomorrow night in the morning. And you have 88 hours to prepare. And then let me go over to the icon. Because the icon shows a hurricane hitting Texas at about the same time. So that would be three hurricanes, dude. That would be one hitting the East Coast, one hitting Texas. You see it down there. Going slowly, gaining strength. And then, boom. So you got two hurricanes causing major situations that would be very bad and then let's kick on over to the Olivia it is possible and I'm not telling anyone or guaranteeing anyone that there will be a hurricane in Texas pretty sure we're going to get a ton of rain and so but either way look man the weather situation is wild it's as wild as the news. You'd think the political news has been wild. The weather's been about 10 times wilder. Which is why I think they have a political circus going on daily. You guys eat that shit up like chum. You know? Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Boom. That's like the 12th. So between the 12th and the 15th, worst case scenario, we get hit. The United States of America gets hit by three hurricanes, man. Hawaii. Boom. 
Texas, boom. And then South North Carolina. But like I said, I don't trust this pathway at all. Um, so I'm just telling everybody to be prepared. And I've been that's what all I've been telling everyone. And at this point, for like the next day, I might even go into, you know, like fear monger mode. Like, because this is serious. And it's weird because somehow the media comes out with some weird story every day. And today it was like Serena Williams lost a match to some other lady. And somehow, because the judge was male, it turned into a circus of how horrible men treat women. Which has been like the main media story for two years. And it's like, look guys, with potentially three hurricanes landfalling in the next week, maybe take a break from the like all men are garbage shit, you know? So here we go. Here we show Cranky Weather Guy, the best weather man on the planet. I highly recommend his blog. I will leave it for you in my information box. But this shows the spread. And so, like, what we're seeing now would take it south there. But this is what I think we'll do. But I'm, at this point, I don't, nobody knows. This is, this is why we're watching it obsessively. I mean, because I'm guessing it could go this way. It could zone down. I had a weird vision last night of it going, just going straight, crossing over Florida, and then reemerging in the Gulf. Though that's like a 2% chance. But I just... Like I said, that's where we're at. Nobody knows. And that's why I am covering this thing for you like a hawk. And Cranky's done a wonderful job. Give that guy as much love as you can on Twitter or on his blog. Because him and I have been working endlessly nonstop. And Charlie's there on. If you're out there, can you buy that dude a cup of coffee and give him a pep talk? He deserves it. Ben Knoll at Ben Knoll Weather. The new Euro guidance is in. Trended slightly south with Florence compared to previous run. With a landfall near Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, on Thursday afternoon. These subtle changes in forecast track are expected run to run. Bottom line is North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Virginia. You guys should be preparing. And I noticed, like I said, the media hasn't been talking about it much, but it's like, I don't know, I think it could take the hard right, go up the coast, cause lots of damage. And the more the East Coast media ignores it, more that that chance I think is a real deal. So yeah, Florence is a little unhealthier, but she seems to be doing just fine. And so here is the Euros track, which would be bad. I mean, no matter what, it looks like this is going to be a bad situation, barring a last-minute miracle, which is always possible. Like I said, you got about 88 hours to landfall. And I don't think the media is going to step on the gas as far as telling people how damaging this thing might be until by Tuesday. It should be too late. According to tonight's Magnet, Mang Hut is going to make Florence look like a little bitch. Florence will surely be a beast, but, but the Pacific is going to be all Pacific like. And not upstaged. Yeah, this Menka nut could be the lowest pressured cyclonic system in the history of mankind. I just want to remind you guys. Yep, I've been on an uncanny streak since Hurricane Matthew. Here I was warning about this hurricane being a monster hurricane. And it is trending west on August 31st. And then remember when I got a ton of shit for saying on September 2nd that Hurricane Florence is a potential major threat to the East Coast? People are like, you're fear-mongering. You're doing it for views. First of all, I make all my money off donations, dipshit. And second of all, I've been uncannily accurate. So if I say this, it's because I mean it, and I'm usually right. This is what I said. The MSM will wait until evacuation window has closed, and then they will step on the it will be very bad gas pedal. So I'm just doing what I can to keep you guys posted. Am I saying that two hurricanes, three hurricanes are definitely going to hit within the next uh week? No, but I would prepare for it. Because on the GFS, if you'll notice, even on the GFS, it has a low it has a low pop up. Let me go back. So it has the low show up.
with a lot of rain. It didn't show up too well, but. And so, was it the Euro? Yeah, maybe the Euro has it. Several areas are showing that right there, the low, that low right there. So, we will keep watching. The chance of the Texas one are a lot lower than Florence or Olivia. But both are things that needs to be prepared for. So, I want everybody to be cool, stay cool, and I will keep you guys updated on this thing. That's not good. Actually, let's take it over to... Yeah, um, dun, dun, dun. Actually, how many times am I going to say actually? Way too many, apparently. All right, let's do a run through real quick because I give you guys the most of your money. Technically, this shit's free. But notice how you got another giant massive storm behind it. And so I think this is the Euro. Yeah, it shows it blasting into South Carolina and North Carolina. Which would bring tons of storm surge, tons of rain, tons of wind, tons of power outages. And it would cause problems into Virginia. And then whatever state that is. Is that a state? Sometimes that they say things to be humorous. And then it would curve back out. Now we're going to look at the GFS on here. Is that what we like to do? We are all comprehensive in our information. I mean, that's a monster wind field. That's almost the size of the state. Now we're going to Virginia Beach, into Virginia, pushing a lot of the problems in Maryland, Washington. And this, like I said, this is a multi-day event. This is Saturday, so, and then it would kind of fizzle out, hopefully, on Sunday. But either way, we're looking at multiple damage scenarios, and none of these have been nailed down. So, okay, now I do. I want to be good to Hawaii because I love you, Hawaii. Even though I've never been, one day I'd like to go. But I'm sure it's just like a girlfriend. I dream of it and it doesn't happen. I've had girlfriends before. Saying, after Tinder came out, I don't know, man. After Tinder came out, it's like every woman's been with 100 guys. <laughs> oh. It's not true. I'm sure it's not true. All right. So, the GFS. And I'm sure men have been with a bunch of women too, but I'm not interested in men. The Euro has it going over. And then hitting Honolulu. So, yeah, everybody's on high alert. Everybody stay cool. I'm on this story all night long and pretty much up until landfall who knows i might even go live here in an hour or two just for the night owls